welcome to the 64th vlog here on my channel on YouTube. It's almost the end of 2018, so let me go through the main events of the year, have a look at my old New Year's resolutions and then talk about what 2019 is going to bring and uh, what resolutions I'm going to have. Let's start with a brief look at uh, my goals for 2018. I had two main goals. I wanted to start to exercise more and to start vlogging. The easier one is the vlogging. Uh, yes, I did start. I'm at uh, videos 64 now. So I kept my, my promise to or my plan to do uh, weekly uploads. I will continue to do weekly uploads uh, in 2019. And I started uh, with more exercise. To support, uh, to support getting more exercise, I also needed to change my diet uh, and get a long-term goal of reducing weight and becoming fit and then staying fit. 2018 saw a lot more things than I was uh, thinking about in, uh, in 2017 when I made the resolutions. 2018 saw me uh, leaving my day job. Uh, it saw me starting a freelance consultancy on the side, which I'm actually winding down as we speak, because uh, as of January 1st, I will go back to being in, f uh, in full employ at the same consultancy, but no longer doing freelance. And uh, in fall, I started uh, studying computer science at a university here in Cologne. This is such a gift. In my age, and I'm rather old, to be able to completely focus on learning, both at the university and at the uh, consultancy that I'm currently at. I mean, that's such an enormous gift, and I'm so eternally grateful that I have the years uh, ahead and the year past, the year ahead, where I can learn, where I can grow, and I really hope that I am able to to share what I'm doing and uh, give back to the community in, in whatever way and to the people around me. I mean, I'm enormously fortunate and I'm eternally grateful. Being able to, to learn and grow is wonderful. That's also one of the uh, continuous goals for 2019 is learning, getting ready to uh, go back to work after finishing my studies. Um, by that time I will be having uh, two kids at college and that will require some work on my part. But overall I'm totally happy, I'm fully confident that 2019 is going to be a great year. We will somehow overcome the current right-wing backslash. Uh, we will be able to defend our liberal ways and democracy in general. One of the things I realized in 2018 is that it's not something that we can take for granted. We need to stand up and protect our democracy. Um, not in, in any form uh, that I would endorse violence, but we need to be firm and we need to protect democracy, we need to protect human rights and kind of stem the encroaching tide of uh, right-wing dictatorships and fascism that is encroaching almost all Western states in the moment. But, but of course I do have a very concrete goal for 2019 and that is uh, I want to go serverless. I'm currently a cloud architect. I've worked on clouds for a number of years. I've made the jump to containers a couple of years ago and now for this year actually for next year my plan is to make the jump to serverless and the goal is by the end of uh, 2019 to be able to consult on serverless to create serverless designs, serverless applications and bring con the consultancy I work for and my own knowledge uh, into the new time. Now that we have covered the 2018 goals and the 2019 goals it's time to have a quick review 2018 highlights. Um, my personal favorite pastimes are A. Films and B. Music. Let's start with film. There were a lot of good films uh, all throughout 2018. 
some good, some bad, but there was one outstanding movie. And that was actually very recent. And that is uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This is a real great new take on an age-old comic. I'm really glad that what Marvel did um, after killing off almost other superheroes in one of the Avenger movies. This is a really fresh new take. Uh, I really enjoy watching the new adventures and um, yeah, I hope uh, we'll see much more from Miles on the big screen in the near future. Hat tip to uh, Marvel. This was probably the boldest move they took uh, in 2018 and it worked really, really well. Going to music, the best concert I was in 2018 was the Hatsune Miko Expo in Cologne, also rather recent. If you're not familiar, Hatsune Miko is a 16-year-old Japanese girl with a, a signature blue hip-length hair. She had a full Lanaxis Arena, she brought a couple of friends and the concert was absolutely stellar. I really hope that uh, she will come back at one point and if you have never seen Hatsune, I will definitely put a link uh, in the description below. Go and uh, have a look, you're in for a treat. Final is uh, the song of the year. There are two thong songs that I really, really enjoyed in 2018 and continue to enjoy and probably have on repeat uh, a lot of times. And I couldn't make it up my mind which one I love most. So to make my life easy, I created a uh, two categories. So my most liked song in English is uh, Last Summer by uh, Johnny Orlando and my most liked song in Spanish is uh, Vamos a Dali by Adexi Ina. I've seen both uh, artists uh, in concert. I'm waiting for uh, Johnny Orlando to announce the, uh, the tour dates for 2019 but I do have uh, tickets for an upcoming concert of Alexa in Valencia. That's it for my review of uh, 2018. I'm really looking forward to 2019. It is uh, it's going to be a great year, I'm very certain. It's going to be a great year full of fun, love, learning and I hope that you'll be able to enjoy it. I hope that all your wishes will come true. And with that said, I wish you all the best, stay safe, and hope to see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.